today, and I'll turn it over to Ron Bernal to uh, announce who that is. Thank you, Mayor. So this presentation is uh, being made by the, uh, the, the Sales Tax Review um, Oversight Committee uh, that are responsible for um, reviewing the receipts and payments uh, that are made as required under um, the resolution and the Measure, measure C um, half cent sales tax. And so they're gonna be making a report for the fiscal year ending um, June of 2016. And I believe um, Mr. Hans Ho is going to be making that presentation. Forward this is forward? Yeah. Uh, okay. The arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Forward. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, before I begin, i like to say that had I known better, I would have worn my cow tie too. <laughs> so with that, oh, no groaning from the audience. Uh, with that, uh, the Sales Tax Citizens Oversight Committee would like to present you with our findings for fiscal year 2016. Our committee uh, is, consists of uh, Ms. Fitzer as my vice chair, uh, Mr. Chappelle, Mr. Saito, um, Mr. Candeas, who is not here tonight, and of course, Ms. Uh, Walker, who has since resigned from the committee. And last but not least, uh, Ms. Williams, who is going to do, be doing a duet with me tonight. So with that, let's uh, go on to... Okay, there you go. Um, how many engineers does it take to do a slideshow? Never mind. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is the third annual report by our committee. Uh, we received data from city management relating to Measure C to conduct a review of receipts and disbursements. Our review provided the basis for this me uh, report as well as all previous periodic reports. Um, we reviewed all the available documents from city staff as required by the City Council's Resolution Number 2013-73 for the fiscal year ending June 2016. Results of our review provided a reasonable basis for our report. Based on our review, we can ascertain that all Measure C monies are being properly accounted for and meet the objectives of this measure. So you're taking a look at the receipts with all amounts rounded to the nearest whole number. Uh, total Measure C funds received for fiscal year 2016 was a little bit over 6.8 million. Additionally, there was a carryover of, of unexpended Measure C monies from previous years of $3.9 million. Total available Measure C funds were 10, $10.7 million. Again, rounding all amounts to the nearest whole number the, for the expended, for the disbursement, $6.5 million was allocated to public safety of which $6.1 million was actually spent. We have $289,000 allocated to code enforcement of which all $289,000 was spent on code enforcement. There is now a surplus as of this report of $4.3 million, which will be carried over to fiscal 2017 to be used for public safety. As of, okay, so we have spent all this money, we've got all this money in, we've spent all this money. How did it impact our city. With that, I turn it over to Ms. Williams. Thank you, Hans. The uh, <laughs> point is set to stun. Oh. <laughs> You're all in danger. Mayor Wright, council members. So, what did you get for your money? So we wanted to kind of show everybody what kind of bang they got for their buck. So as of the writing of this report, the city has hired 49 sworn police officers. This is since the inception of Measure C. Um, that gives us a net gain of 18 sworn police officers, and currently the city has a 100 sworn officers. 
Um, additionally, the city has hired four community service officers and they now have a total of seven community service officers. Let's see if I can do that. Yay, it worked. <clears throat> Additional public safety support staff, um, including an administrative analyst and a police dispatch supervisor have been hired. Um, we also now have an active, keyword there, active vehicle abatement program that actually has two dedicated staff members. Um, our overall crime in the city is down 5% and those were statistics that were provided by the chief. Of officer response time has improved pretty significantly from a little over 10 minutes um, to a little over nine minutes. And again, those were provided by the um, chief. Code enforcement. Um, some of you may have actually noticed this. I certainly have in my neighborhood. No more mattresses laying about. Um, so for code enforcement, the city has hired one code enforcement supervisor, one code enforcement officer, a support person, and two general laborers for blight abatement. Additionally, on the code enforcement bucket, um, they were able to purchase two trucks and a vehicle to help out the code enforcement team. Um, there were almost 800 code enforcement cases opened in 2016. 750 of those cases have been closed. Um, almost 4,000 cubic yards of blight and rubbish were abated in 2016. That's a lot of garbage. Um, and a little over 800 shopping carts were also abated um, last year. And I'm going to turn it right back over to Hans. We had a few recommendations. Clearly stepping a little bit outside of the scope of our committee. However, the majority of the committee members would like to take this opportunity to make some recommendations to the city council. The first recommendation is that the city council would utilize measure C funding and reconsider your decision and promote an Antioch police department member to sergeant to give better span of control. Second recommendation uh, is maybe pointing out the obvious that our current spending is outpacing Measure C funding with Measure C sunsetting on April uh, 2021. We should start thinking about how staffing, public safety and code enforcement can be maintained after the sunset. The city, the third recommendation and the last recommendation is the city council may be consider unfreezing the baseline budget of $28 million in order to sustain the current staffing allocation of public safety and code enforcement. And that brings us to our end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention and indulgence. Thank you. Are there any questions of council? Yes, sir. Questions or comments? I have a question. Council Thorpe. Member Thorpe. Thank you. Uh, and maybe this is a question for Ron, for code enforcement. Our code enforcement de department is being uh, all funded through Measure C? I don't know the answer to that. Sorry. I believe the majority of it is, but I'm not sure if the entire department is. And Don, hopefully, can help me out. Thank you, Don. Good evening, Mayor and Council. The entire code enforcement department is not funded with Measure C. Some of it was in, six, in existence prior to Measure C. And with the adoption of Measure C, um, Council has allocated only certain items to be funded with Measure C, which was the hiring of a code enforcement manager, just one officer. We have a total of three. Um, the support staff that helps you know, keep the show running down there, the blight abatement crew, which is two general laborers, plus the trucks for them, and then a new um, vehicle for the one additional code enforcement officer. So the budget for code enforcement far exceed what is just in the Measure C portion. So this uh, 289,000 is accurate? Correct, that was just what was spent on Measure C for the Measure C allocated okay. expenditures for code enforcement. Right. I just wanted to clear that up because it gave the impression that Measure C has been, uh, this presentation gave the impression that Measure C was funding the entire code enforcement department. It's not. Right. A little bit is helping with, I guess, one position. One code enforcement one code, officer. And the two laborers. The two laborers and then the code enforcement manager. Okay. 
and then right. a, and also one support staff that's um, you know takes in all the calls, gets the cases going, and you know assists with liens, etc. So. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I just I, and I appreciate the the work of the committee and and certainly um, the oversight you're providing and making sure that the numbers are are accurate and that you're holding city hall accountable and that um, in addition to that we, we in terms of our code enforcement department you know I, I think that's an area where um, where we lack in supporting code enforcement with measure C money so I appreciate uh, the advocacy and, and, and what you're doing at the end so thank you Councilmember Tiscarino yeah thank you mr. mayor yeah I also want to thank the committee for for your report it, it, it tells me that it reflects you know what we promise the citizens of Antioch we're going to do with Measure C funds, and um, your accounting and, and your um, uh, your your auditing uh, of Measure C, uh, you know, makes makes that uh, uh, correct. So I do appreciate that. Uh, uh, and again, I, I know that this uh, committee is strictly to oversee uh, the financials and the funds that are allotted to Measure C, so it can be transparent towards uh, for our community. Uh, I do, and I do appreciate the recommendations that uh, that you um, that you present. But I don't know if that's beyond, uh, oh, and, and you did admit to it that it's you know it's beyond your purview, because some of these some of these issues have been addressed and uh, you know and discussed before and already made policy decisions on. So they're even though they're they're excellent, um, uh, you know, recommendations. I don't know if this is the format to do this. So. Uh, because of that and so but again I just want to uh, assure that uh, I do appreciate that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing as as an oversight and making sure that uh, you are holding us accountable and I, and I truly appreciate that so just my thoughts thank you council member Ogertop. I too appreciate the fact I know the time and energy that you take away from your families to do this so I really appreciate all your energy that you put into it and the fact that you come forth and share that the city has been using the money in the appropriate manner means a lot not just to me but to the city and so in your recommendations I like Councilmember Tiscarino these things have been talked about several times and it's almost saying that we're not paying attention I believe we are paying attention so therefore it is outside your purview to do the recommendations um, we know that Measure C sunsets and um, we think that, or I think, I shouldn't speak for everybody else, but I believe that the city, if they see um, you're overseeing our, the funds and you're seeing that they're being used in the appropriate manner, hopefully Measure C will come back on the ballot and there will be no sunset date. Um, so again, I appreciate your time, but I would ask that you just focus on the task that you have and not add to it. Thank you. Councilmember Wilson. Yes, thank you, Mayor. Thank you guys for the, this wonderful presentation. And um, just have one question, although I think it's pretty much answered in this report. It seems like there's been a good working relationship between you and staff and being able to get those numbers and working very cohesively together to present this report to us. So we really appreciate that work. We, you know, you know, will definitely continually support you in this effort because we did you know, the council did ask for this oversight committee to show transparency to the public that how, on how these funds are being spent. So again, my hat's off to you. Thank you very much for your hard work. Nice. I, well, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for the time and dedication that you guys put in, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Can I have one last thing? Yes. Oh, I just want to, we're getting close to um, uh, uh, budget work study sessions. So, uh, you know, I encourage you uh, to participate and share your comments. I appreciate the recommendations. I think whether it's a, beyond your scope, you're still citizens and you have every right to express what your recommendations are. And so I encourage you to show up at the budget uh, work sessions and share your, whether I agree with them or not, I encourage you to show up and share your thoughts. Thank you. Uh, moving on to consent calendar. 